Greetings to another video. Right, today it was kind of following on from, I guess, the inclusivity that I was talking about in the last video. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it below. But one of the things that I will always promote and talk about is you do not need to spend tens or like thousands and thousands of pounds to have a really nice bike to ride. I will always say that. And specifically, you do not need to get into debt to be able to ride a nice bike. And I think that's sometimes the feeling that we feel like we should always have like the latest, newest, most expensive bike. And that is absolutely not the case. I mean, it's always nice to have like new bike day, but there are other ways of having that without having to get into debt or spend crazy amounts of money. And one of those is places like Bicycle, which is a website, it's a bike selling service. It was set up by cyclists for cyclists. And there are like, I think there are like 20,000 bikes on there. So there's gonna be something that you want, but at a really good price. And also, and I'll chat to you now about it, is it's a really good way of selling bikes as well. So I, because I'm of what I do, I do get given bikes as part of contracts and I don't need these bikes when these contracts end. So I've got a Ribble frame that I've had from 2019 that I do not need anymore. I wanted to give it a new home. Right, so how it works and I guess how it is different is that Bicycle is the, the middle person, the kind of trusty like holder of the funds and making sure that everyone, the seller and the buyer are happy. It is free to list. The Bicycle take 1.5% of the like, overall um, bike fee at the end. So yeah, you put your, your photos up, people from, well, I think it's 30 different countries, um, are able to purchase that bike. If you want packaging to post your bike, because that's basically how it works, um, you get the bike box in the post delivered to your address. So you don't have to go and find a bike box from somewhere to be able to post it. So you get the bike box, you pack it all up. And for me, I'm selling a frame. So I've packed that all up, I've bubble wrapped it, the cardboard inserts, that's making it all secure. You tape it up, you then get sent a shipping label, which just um, sticks onto the side of the box and a courier will come and collect it today. They are coming to collect the bike from me. And then once the courier has collected the bike, you then get the payment. And I just think it's a really good way of being able to reuse bikes that we're not using anymore, but are still amazing bikes and amazing frames. And like, I love that frame. And I think it's a really great frame. I think someone's gonna really enjoy the bike build and then the actual bike at the end of it. I've sold bikes elsewhere and it is hassle. For instance, one of the times that I sold a bike, I had to, well, I didn't have to, I was kind of going that way. It was, was it near Norfolk? I can't remember, it was a long way out from where I was going and it took me like a couple of hours detour to take this guy this bike. The other time I met really locally, I took this uh, bike and when I got there, we had all these messages and then we got there and then the guy was like, oh yeah, um, he, to be honest, he was only quite young and he's like, oh, my mum's not sent me the money over. And I didn't know this before and I was like, uh, okay. He's like, can you, can you give me the bike and I'll send you the money next week and I'm like, that is not happening. <laughs> anyway, I was there for about an hour. He rang his mom, he transferred the money. It was just kind of a bit of a weird, awkward situation, I guess, for both of us. I will leave all the links to Bicycle below if you're wanting to buy or sell. They have sponsored this video. They did sponsor a video a while back when I was showing just a site. I think it's genuinely a really good way of buying and selling and sustainably keeping bikes in the cycle. I mean, <laughs> such a cheesy way of saying it, but you're like in this, in actually just riding because there are so many amazing bikes out there. One of the other bikes that I really love, it, I bought this second hand, God, I drove a long way. I think I drove to the coast. It was like two and a half hours to go and get this bike. It's a specialized um, tarmac. Um, also what I will say, because I was gonna say that the reason that I went there was because I wanted to check because it's a carbon bike. Um, one of the things that you can get through Bicycle is a carbon check. So you can pay for um, the bike to go and get like checked to make sure it's fully okay and sound. And then the other thing is if you are not fully happy as a buyer, if the bike comes and it's not as you um, saw it online, then obviously you can dispute that and then you get your money back. So there's lots more protection in place than say just buying it off eBay or Facebook Marketplace or somewhere like that. So I think that's a really good thing to keep in mind. Hello. Literally just finished filming and then the guys come up to pick the bike. Hello. Hello. Okay. Yes, are you? Yeah. I, I printed. 
I put a two off because I wasn't sure if you needed one or two. Uh, just one, but I'll start the other one. Oh. Me up a little bit. Thank you oh, very much. Have a good day. day. You too. Bye. Yeah. Although actually, I'm a little bit sad. Oh, does anyone else get like this? I knew I needed to sell it. Like I don't need that frame anymore. But oh, <laughs> bye, bike. When I was packing it in the box, actually, oh, I'm gonna have to wave. When I was packing it in the box, I like patted it and was like, thank you so much for all the adventures. Oh my God, why am I getting upset? I love that bike. I think I had so many adventures on that bike. But it's gonna, ha like, this is how I need to see it. Sorry, this chair is really squeaky. I had so many adventures, but the new person is gonna have equally more adventures. And I sometimes I used to feel bad when I used to see my giant, because I used to keep it in my mum and dad's for safekeeping. I'd feel sad that it was just sat there, not... Uh, you, this is like a, uh, a glimpse into my, into my cycling mind, that I'd feel sad that the bike wasn't having adventures. And like, I did feel bad that that other bike wasn't doing stuff. I almost feel like, do you know like how Toy Story? how the characters all come to life. I sometimes feel like when I go to sleep, oh, you're all gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm gonna go with it. Cause maybe some of you feel like, if you feel like this as well, let me know in the comments. Um, but like, they're all like, oh yeah, I went on this adventure today. And they're like, they <laughs> like, they tell each other, I'm like, my gravel bike's there. And I'm like, oh my God, I went on this thing and it was really good and we camped out at this place. And then the road bike's going, oh my God, that sounds amazing. Like, oh, I'd love to be able to do that one day. Maybe, maybe Katie's gonna take it one day anyway. That bike is going to have lots more adventures with somebody else, so I just need to let it go. If you if you are okay with letting go of some of your bikes, then that's a nice way to do it. <laughs> okay. Thank you again so much for watching. And uh, thanks to Bicycle for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. I think they're a great brand company doing great things to keep bikes moving and keep people having adventures on great bikes. Um, so, yeah. Thanks again. Goodbye. 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 Squeaky chair. I mean, what can I do for that squeaky chair? It's so annoying.